Namaste, this is Kunal Mehta from Make Me Scientific and today in this video I am going to demonstrate the osmosis in case of potato. So as you can see in the picture that I have scooped a cavity in the potato and I have added some amount of about 2 ml of sugar solution into it and the sugar solution was 20% right. Now that potato I have kept it in a petri dish containing large quantities of water. So what is osmosis? It is the movement of water molecules from higher concentration of water to lower concentration of water or the movement of water molecules from low solid concentration to high solid concentration. Please understand this carefully that in the cavity the amount of water is less and the amount of sugar is extremely high and in the petri dish the amount of water is very large and the amount of sugar is next to zero. So the water will start moving through the semi permeable membrane that is the cell membrane of the potato cells from one cell to the another and finally it will go inside the cavity. So the water will start going from the petri dish into the cavity so from high concentration of water to low concentration of water or from low solute concentration to high solute concentration. And uh, to be very honest, this was a very tiring practical for me that I had to do this practical three to four times in, op in order to obtain the results. So at the end of the video, I'm going to share what were my challenges. Please enjoy the video. Let's start the practical by adding some amount of water into the Petri dish. Now place the potato in the petri dish as shown. We have to make sure that for the osmosis to happen, the walls of the potato should be quite thin. This is the initial level of water. Let's add 20% of the sugar solution into the cavity. Let's add few drops of saffronin stain. It is because if the osmosis takes place, then along with the water, the colored, the red color of the saffronin will also sweep inside the cavity. This will prove that the osmosis has taken place. This is the level of water outside the potato. Let's fix a nail inside the cavity to mark the initial level of the sugar solution because after the osmosis has taken place the level of water inside will rise. This is the result that I am obtaining after two days and I had to do this experiment about two times with two different potatoes because the experiment did not happen the way I wanted. You can see that the colored water has entered inside the potato cavity and this is after a long wait of about two days and the level of water inside the potato has also increased. This means that the osmosis has taken place. I also tried this experiment without the saffronine and this was the initial level of the sugar solution inside the cavity and after a wait of about 2 days you can see that the level of water inside the cavity has increased where the new position of the pin is fixed. Please note that I had to keep this potato in the water for about 2 days then also the results were not very satisfying so I had to repeat the procedure. So a bit lengthy process and if it doesn't happen from your end please increase the concentration of sugar from 20% to say about 40% and you will be able to achieve the results in a more better way. 
I hope you have enjoyed the experiment and please do stay connected with uh, Make Me Scientific and I am very very thankful that you have provided me a platform to speak in YouTube. Thank you very much. Thank you.